Uh, Brendan Burke, Chagas uh, Oak Park Research on uh, potato equipment and machinery. Uh, what we're looking at here today is the changes in from the 1950s where individuals, a lot of individual help was involved and most farmers had probably an acre of potatoes um, for their own use and maybe for selling locally where today the number of farmers is really contracted down to a very, very small number of specialised growers which are using huge equipment here, self-propelled harvester for harvesting the potatoes. So you're talking about very, very big numbers of people, family involvement, local neighbours, people maybe even got a day off school to pick potatoes here. But the equipment needed still was much uh, basic enough that you needed to turn over the soil and make uh, loose soil and plant your potatoes. But it involved just very, very small equipment, Ferguson 20 tractor, two for a plough and a ridger to plant the potatoes. And you see them in their, our display of machinery here that there's um, very simple, very lightweight machinery and still got the job, but only suitable for planting a couple of acres on each farm. And then you went on into, um, in the 60s, automatic planters, which um, two people sat on the planter and they dropped the potatoes in with what we call a bell planter. And you'll see there's a little bell on the machine which told them when to drop the potatoes. So you need to be good in hearing and to drop the potatoes in at every stage. And it was set at a, maybe a foot apart each, each potato. And then on to the 80s then when uh, it was obviously discovered that Potatoes like a much looser soil. So from uh, the 80s on, farmers started using de-stoning machines then to take large stones, small stones and clods out of the soil and plant the potatoes into a nice loose seed bed then. So that involved a whole other process in the machi in of machinery involved in it, but it did make production much more efficient that uh, your, your soil, every potato grew in the right soil. And also that the planters developed as well, that they were now into fully automatic planters from the 90s onwards where the potatoes were funneled down to a narrow spacing and softly dropped into the ground rather than with some of the machines which actually use mechanical systems for picking the potatoes out which damaged the potatoes a little bit. So potatoes dropped softly into loose soil then and you had a much better crop establishment then. The next breakthrough then would be in the, in the 2000s onwards would be using GPS system and all our potatoes here are planted using GPS system. It, what it, all it means really is that we keep our lines of potatoes in perfectly straight rows and then when we come on to harvest them we're keeping in the same row and we're not dam damaging any potatoes then into the harvesting system. The harvesting system have changed dramatically then with from the hand picking you say right up to the surf propelled. Not every farmer will have one of these that's growing potatoes but he'll have a version of it with a tractor trailed version of it but his main aim is to have potatoes safely and potatoes almost treated like eggs that you don't drop the potatoes over uh, any great distance so the into a potato box then transported then directly into the potato store only one movement and the potatoes are in good condition then for uh, stored then right through the winter then if, if need to be right up to April May of the following year so it's all about storage properly controlled environment then after that the potatoes in, in the store. Here we have looking at uh, Ferguson 20 over here and a Master Ferguson 135 which will be 50s and 60s tractors with a two furrow plough and a two furrow, uh, two row ridger with two people sitting on the side of it. Then we move on to the 70s with a Ford 7000 which will be the, the big tractor at the time um, at, a, at a slightly less than 100 horsepower but was a huge breakthrough with power and you got through work a lot quicker. And then we went on to powered rotavators then uh, and powered uh, cultivators then rather than just trailed machines which uh, needed smaller tractors. And then we went on to um, uh, de-stoners which were again uh, trailed machines which required 150, 200 horsepower to operate them in the field. The planters then, instead of carrying maybe uh, 200 weight or, or uh, 100 kilograms of potatoes, they now will be carrying a ton of potatoes, seed potatoes we're planting. And onto the self-propelled harvesters then, which will be taking uh, a bunker on the harvester itself. The bunker might hold four and five ton of potatoes on the harvester for directing into the boxes or into, into storage.